welcome to the Mission TV show. We're at the GC 2015 and we're talking to various people from around the world that are doing God's work. Right now I have Sister Arlene with us. Hi. Hi, where are you from? I'm coming from in, uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. Okay, and what do you do for God there? So I'm uh, coming from the one ministry called Chinese Ministry Center, Jakarta. And what we are doing now, actually, uh, the city evangelism, because uh, it's uh, regarding the project from GC Mission to the okay, Cities. Okay, Mission to the Cities. Uh, that's what we're doing now in Jakarta, Indonesia. Okay, so what are you doing among the Chinese there? So actually, at the beginning, our ministry is focusing uh, to how to reach out to the min uh, Chinese community there, because it's kind of hard to reach out to them because of the two main problems the food <laughs> and sabbath day uh. and for we uh, this ministry was established on 2003 and 2003 until 2005 we are we were pray pray and pray asking direction for from god what should we do and 2005 god led us to the health message and that's very powerful since that time we are doing the radio program the health health talk uh, for radio program we are doing also the health seminars uh, okay. both in our churches and also the sunday churches it's okay it's awesome that i mean i cannot believe before that it's kind of impossible when the sunday churches ask us invite us to speak in their in, in front their of meetings. their pulpits wow and and told them about the the health message that we have so it's opening doors. That's right. It's it's we can see that it's kind of miracle. So in Jakarta, Indonesia, right now we don't have to do the door knocking. They who the one who come to us. Okay. And I'm I really praise God that uh, in Alan White's uh, writings he mentioned about the center of influence. Mm. So after we uh, have the radio program, we have the health seminars, we also have the Bible study class. Mm. Um, we read the Ellen White's uh, writings and we see that there's a need to open the center of influence where, where all the radio listeners can come oh, and meet yes, us. And meet you. So since uh, 2008, we opened our first center of influence in Jakarta. Okay, so what kind of things do you do there you host your radio show there so people can come there and yeah the radio station is not actually it's not ours oh, they okay. just give you time just for us to there. yeah record and then they're they're doing the broadcast and but the center of influence itself we rent a building just like three storage or four storage buildings uh, in the city of Jakarta because we see the, the, the leading from Ellen White writings that you have to find a place inside the city. Mm. So the location is very important. So if we uh, put the address in one card, it's not a problem for the people to find that address. Okay. It's not like in the small way that it's oh, in uh, the difficult. Side way. That's okay. right. So we have that place. And actually in that time, we don't have any money. That's what I want to tell you that this is not a story how great we are. This is a story how, how great our God. Okay. So we don't have any money. We pray in front of the, the center of the influence. The building where you yeah. want it. And we don't have any money to pay. Uh, to, pay to rent. To rent. Okay. None at all. Zero. We pray that, uh, there and we ask God if this is really your will so you will provide the money mm. and you know what next no we got the money not wow. from our church members it's from the guests it's from the radio listeners the people that listen yeah from the wow. the, the health seminars actually okay. we don't we don't do like um oh we want to fundraise to rent a, a place we just announce that please pray that we plan to have a place when you all of you can come uh, freely to uh, to learn about the health message, and they're the one who come to us and say can that we, we want can to. Can we give? Yeah, we want to. Wow! Help. So, do you have health classes in the center now? And That's right. So, at in the first floor, we have the healthy grocery store called Club Sehat. So, 
in Indonesia it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to to find like seeds mm. like nuts like that so it's a store where when uh, where we we sell off all that things you okay. know but it's not like just the main business is not the uh, the profit oriented but the main business is how to attract the people to know us mm. and uh, in the second floor we have a space for the worship service and then we have the space also for the health seminars so we have a uh, weekly health seminars okay free for them for oh, them nice. to come and, and so you invite the radio listeners and they come and yeah they come oh nice. so uh, regularly every weekend we have uh, the health seminar so they can come bring their family and it's free oh nice but the things that I want to uh, tell you, uh, because sometimes all the people think that it's like, oh yeah, you just open a center and the people mm. keep coming. But I want to, uh, to, to tell you that at the first time when we opened the first one, it's just like two guests, uh, five almost guests. Almost no one came. Almost no one came. Mm. But the thing is, we keep praying. So mm. that's on the second floor, right? Uh -huh. So every, every church members, and that time we only have like less than 10 people oh, wow. to help. So every afternoon, every Sabbath afternoon before the health seminars, all of us stand, oh, so one or two people, they're, they're waiting in front of the door, but all of us is waiting, like watching, uh, on the window. watching in the window and the stairs. So we just pray and ask God God Send please bring one people. more one people one people come wow. so you know at first we only have 25 chairs and then just and two or two five people yeah <laughs> five people and then God bless us the whole all the chair was oh. filled so we have to add Get 25 more, more. Wow. and then it's full again wow. and then we have to buy another 25 chairs and it's it's i mean it's a full capacity of the second floor okay so now we have to set the third floor with the two lcd projector okay overflow room yeah wow wow i can so see now that. how many people are coming so uh, we now have like um we have four center of influence in the city of jakarta now mm -hmm. and each of the center it's about like 70 to 100 people coming every weekend wow every weekend and also like now we have six center of influence outside of jakarta like in surabaya in makassar in other cities of uh, indonesia okay so you're expanding yes actually it's not us it's god <laughs> right always <laughs> Always yes, God pushes yes, us to expand. Yes, yes, that's right. Wow, well, praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah. So do you want to share a story of one of your listeners with um, us? You know, work in this, uh, in this field is not always like... Sometimes you have uh, times that you really discourage, you know. Yeah. So like I remember... Like when two people come, you've worked so hard and two right, people come. That's right, that's right. And sometimes, uh, what, there's one time I'm, I, feel, I feel that I'm very discouraged. Mm. And when I'm praying to God, I ask for God direction, where should I, uh, what should I do? And there's a call from a radio listener because I'm uh, also, uh, we have two, uh, two types of radio program, one for health and one for Bible study. Mm. And I'm the one who take care for the Bible study program. Mm, okay. And there's one radio listener call me and said to me that, would you come to my house? Uh, and pray for me I said that okay because she's the one who's always call me and ask mm. ask me to come to uh, her place mm. and okay I come to I came to her house he's uh, she's not a rich person she's just live in the very small house and then I I, I went uh, to her place and then I pray with her and she said she, she pulled me to her bedroom and showed me a radio, a very old radio, and said that, you know, every Monday evening, I listen, listen to your to you. voice here. 
And you wow. know, she's been baptized for three years. Wow. Yeah. That is a blessing. That's right. And, and that's encouraging. That's very encouraging me. And then also there's uh, one more lady. She's uh, the vice president of uh, the bank. She and her uh, sister is looking around because they really, they really thirst for the, uh, the truth. Mm. They have been going around to searching for the truth to the Sunday churches. Mm. And one time they listened to our radio program and they come to the center of influence. And after they learn about the health message, they, they ask us, where do you, did you get all the stuffs? I mean, all like the, the lifestyle. The, uh, yeah, uh -huh. and we said that this is from the Bible. Mm. So, and they said that, could, could we uh, learn the Bible with you? Oh. So we opened the, the Bible study class with them. And, oh yeah, because in the afternoon, we have the health seminar. But before that, we always open the Bible study class. Mm. And it's like, 50 people, people. Oh, okay. 50 students non-SDA came over and both of them coming and two years ago they have been baptized and two wow. of them now these two ladies now is the very active evangelist in our church wow praise the lord <laughs> praise that God is really for that. neat yeah. yes all from the little radio ministry and then that's right that's right so that's right. many times I know with with our TV channel, we don't hear anything from people, yeah, yeah. and so you wonder, okay, is it doing anything? What and happened? then you hear a testimony, and somebody contacts you, that's and right. it's such a that's blessing. Right. Yeah, that's especially when they give their life to Christ, yeah. and then they start telling others. Yes, that's, that's so right. beautiful. Yeah, that is and so I, beautiful. It's it's yeah, it's the same feeling that I have. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you talk in the radio, you cannot see anyone. No, just the microphone. <laughs> yeah, that's right, and. Is it worth enough? You know, because the radio station uh, located quite far from my place, and I have to go there. You know, and said, "Is it?" You have to prepare. Yeah. You have to go there. That's right. But when I saw, there's, I mean, there's so many people now is looking for the truth. Mm. Sometimes we are too afraid to share the truth. Then uh, my experience in the radio station and also for the Bible study class. If we share that, it's like uh, the the lesson, the Bible study that's just like the same as the other church uh, mm. teach. The response is not too good. Right. But when when we share about the sanctuary, the Daniel revelation, wow, people it, respond. The response because it's something so they've never heard yeah, before. Yeah, they never heard it before. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Well, Arlene, I'm I'm really I'm just really happy to hear these stories yeah. because it's like it's so neat to know that there's people out there working. That's right. Is there more need there? Uh You see, Jakarta There's only a few people in Jakarta, right? Yes. Actually, you know, only a few how many million? The population of Jakarta inside the metro city itself 12 Point five million. Twelve point five million. But if you count the surrounded area, it's now twenty six million people lives there, and it's just about like uh, twelve thousand church member Adventist church member lives there, and wow. that's why in Indonesia itself, because Indonesia is the largest Muslim country, and what we are facing right now, for every one. I mean, one uh, Adventist church members have to reach out to ten about around ten thousand people. Wow! So that's, a that's lot of the people. challenge now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Do you have a website for your centers of influence, or do you have any way that people could get in touch or help support if they wanted to? Or okay, so uh, for the website we have for the store, uh, it's www.clubsehat club is c l u b s e h a t dot com uh, so you can contact us there and also yeah if you call if you want to contact us through the email you can contact us cmc underscore jakarta at yahoo.com okay yeah all right 
Well, thank you so much, Arlene, for sharing these stories with us. You're very welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy to share how God's work in our place. Do you, you know? think, do you think other church members should get involved? Sure. Do you think other church members should pray and ask God what they could do in their area? Of course, of course. Because or elsewhere? What I feel right now that we are just ordinary people. That's nothing mm -hmm. special about us, actually. But what we are, we're really happy that we can have an extraordinary God, you know, right. that really makes many, many, many miracles in front of our eyes. Wow. Yeah. God is so good. Amen. All right. Well, I want to thank you for joining us. And I just want to ask you that you would pray for our brothers and sisters please, in Indonesia please. that are doing this work, that you would get involved in whatever way the Lord is asking you to. Go to their website, email them, pray for them. Do what God is asking you to do, and you will not regret it. You will learn that God is an extraordinary God. Also, you will have experiences like this yourself. God bless you until we see you again on the Mission TV show. Mm -hmm.